Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a wind spinner mock-up. These wind spinners are new. Um, they are just breaking out onto the scene and they are becoming even more and more and more popular. So if you're making designs for these wind spinners and you need mock-ups to put them on, I have got you covered. Okay, so you can see here, um, I used this little B wind spinner design and I mocked it up onto a wind spinner. It was actually really, really easy. Let me show you where I got everything. So I was in Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica is actually where I got the design and the mock-up file. If you just hop in here and you type in wind spinner and you scroll, you're going to see tons and tons and tons of wind spinner files and a couple mock-ups. Um, I've looked through and I have found what I feel like are the best mock-ups and it is from this store here, uh, Svetlana Crafts Designs. So if you just click into her shop, and I'll link to all of this so that you can um, just easily access it. And um, she's got a lot of stuff here. She's got the tumbler designs. She's got the wind spinner designs. But if you just come in and get this mock-up, you will see she has a few different mock-ups available. She's got this skull one. And that will be for Halloween. She's got the round one, which is kind of the basic custom wind spinner. And she also has the heart design for the mock-up. I'm going to be working off of the basic round design today, but you can get any of these from her shop and they will all work the same way. So you'll come in here, you'll click on this file and you will click download. Um, you can see I have already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna do that but come and get the file and then go pick your favorite wind spinner design. So let's head back out and look for some designs. So you would scroll through and just pick whatever you like the best. Um, maybe take the word designs off the end of that. You can see I typed in wind spinner designs. You're gonna, there, you're gonna get a lot more options if you just type in wind spinner. Um, go and pick whatever you like the best, download that, and then we're going to start this mock-up. But I do want to mention you can get all of this for free. So if you sign up for a free trial of Creative Fabrica, you can download 10 files completely free, and then it will renew your subscription at $9.99 a month. Um, if you just want to bypass that, you can get your subscription for $4.99 a month just right off the bat. Um, it is a one-time yearly payment of $59. But then you have access, like you could download 300 wind spinner designs, start an Etsy shop, and get it all for that one payment of $59. Okay, so we've got our um, mock-up downloaded. We have the design we want to put on it downloaded. Now let's mock this up in a free program called Photopea. So, oops. Just come to www.photopea.com and you're gonna get this screen. Now again, Photopea is free, but because it is, you have these ads over here, you can just ignore them, or you can pay, I think it's like $5 a month if you don't want the ads, they bother you, pay $5 a month for Photopea. Okay, some important things that we need to do here. We need to open from computer, super important that we do it this way so that we can get the aspect ratios exactly the way they're supposed to be for this design. So you'll just come and find the wind spinner that you downloaded. It is called Round Wind Spinner. Now, yours will probably say PSD. When you download this from her shop, you're gonna get a zip file and it's gonna have different options. You want the PSD file. Even if you don't have Photoshop, still get it. My computer, I have some different settings in here, so this is showing up as an Affinity Designer file, but for you, it will most likely say PSD. Grab that file double click it and bring it into Photopea. Okay, and you're gonna get a little something that looks like this. And there's all this stuff going on over here on the side. Don't worry about any of this for now. I'm just gonna show you how to get your design in here. So this first little layer over here says your design. I want you to come and double click on this box here. 
and you're going to see that it will pop up a brand new window for you. So we were over here in this tab, but when we double clicked this box, it popped up a new window for us. Okay, this is where we're going to put in the design that we got. I had that B design, I'm just going to use it again. One little quirk about this site is you have to drag and drop your design in. You cannot come file and upload. So I'm just going to minimize the screen, drag and drop that B design, and wait for it to load. Okay, so there's the design. Now you see she had this kind of thing back here. You just want to position this to where it is on top of the design that was there. Make sure that you can't really see too much of that other design and enlarge it just a smidge. Okay, and you will get some registration marks. There's a red line across the middle right now showing that it is centered. Okay, that's really all you do to bring your design in. Now you can see that my design is here and this was that original blue background. That happens when you have ads, sorry. Um, you wanna click this blue background off. So just take this little eye icon and close it. Oops. Okay, so now you see if I move this over, that is not back there anymore. Let me center this back up. Okay, now you have put your design in, you have turned off the blue pattern that she had originally. All you need to do is file and save smart object. Don't worry about what it means or what it does, just file and save smart object. Okay, it said smart object, smart object saved. Now we can click back over here. And our B is on the wind spinner, perfectly designed. Okay, you might be thinking, I don't like that background. That doesn't bring out the colors of my wind spinner. Don't worry. She gives you a few different backgrounds. So this is the first one. It's the one that's on there now. If I shut the eye on this one, it goes away. And I can open the next one. Or I can open this last one that she gives us. Or you can close the eye on all of them and have a blank background. You can then add a background in another program like Canva, or you can just add a background of your own here if it's a basic background. You would click this, um, this shape, this rectangle box, and then use your mouse and just draw a nice rectangle on your page. Now it's black, but we're gonna change the color. This up here is the color of your um, box that you just drew. So just click it and it's only going to give you some basic colors. That's just a starting point. I'm gonna start with yellow. And then if I click this box again, now I can really come in and customize, come here, the yellow that I want. And you see it's up here changing. This is what we started with, this is what we changed it to. So watch this box as I change the color. Do you see? Okay, so I'm just gonna go with a pale yellow, gonna hit okay. Okay, and there is my yellow box. I need to click out of this. I'm still in this rectangle tool. If I were to do something else on the screen, it would draw another rectangle. I need to click out of that so I can get my cursor back. Okay, so here's this box I just drew. And here it is over here in these layers. All you need to do is click it and drag it to the very bottom. And it is now behind your wind spinner and you have given yourself whatever kind of background it is you want. Okay, so you can save your design now. You will come to File and Save as, sorry, File and Export as PNG. And it's going to be really huge on your screen right here. You will just type whatever you want to name this thing. Let's see, B Wind Spinner. And you hit Save. And just like that, you have created your Wind Spinner mock up. Let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to double click here to open the file I just downloaded. There it is. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Super easy. Go get all the wind spinner designs you want from Creative Fabrica. Sign up for that membership. Like I said, if you do the yearly, you pay that one time fee of $59 and then you can download hundreds and hundreds of designs for free for the rest of the year. It's really good if you're trying to start some kind of an online shop or you can just get the 10 free files and be done. 
anyways, uh, that's all I've got for you. So we'll see you next time.